Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much just for, you know, um, going through this journey with me. You know, educating yourself about your gifts, looking forward to your gifts, even though they might be, you know, a little worse on it sometimes, but you should always think of your gift as more of a blessing than a curse. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and you have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you'll just have to tell me about your empath, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or you know, good information that you feel like another empath needs to hear at this time, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel and uh, sending love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, oh my gosh, y'all, my legs are so stiff. I've been so sore. I walked like three, three or four miles yesterday and it felt really good. Um, it's called Wipe Out Subconscious Negativity, Dissolve Negative Patterns, and Remove all mental blockages and I will post that link in the description box below you know we need to get rid of those mental blocks because if we start overthinking a lot of things it that can put more worry in our mind when there don't need to be but anyways my video today is about twin flame 101 you are a conqueror over your trauma you are you have to really see yourself is that you have to give yourself those positive affirmations every day because I know whatever you're going through it has to be hard you could be you know, heading towards uh, losing your job, um, going through a rough patch in your relationship, a friend or, you know, um, a loved one has passed, um, let me see, got, have financial strain in your life, you know, just all things is, that, that comes in your life that can be very traumatic, anything you're going through. You have to keep telling yourself, you're going to conquer this. You're going to get through this. You have to tell yourself that every day. I have to tell myself that every day. If you've been with me for a while, you already knew what my situation was. Or if you, you watched my intro video, you know, part, uh, part of the things that, you know, I've went through. You know, I tell, try to tell y'all every few videos, like every 10, 20 videos or whatever, because I don't like constantly keep talking about that. But it's like my traumatic situation has brought me to making my videos. And it's just like... You know, I knew, you know, after a while when I kept on not looking at it as a traumatic situation, which was very bad, um, I knew there was a there was a reason behind that. Like I tell y'all all the time, there's a reason behind your pain. There's a bigger picture than what you're just going through. There had to be a reason behind this situation to have you go through this. And it's just like a lot of people I've been trying to help mentor or give spiritual counseling to you know I try to tell them you know I understand it's very hard that what you're going through I sympathize with you I truly do but you have to really look at it like if this situation when it went on you would have been still walking blind in your truth you would have been like what am I missing I know there's something bigger you know bigger than what it is and it's like I tell people you had to be break broken for you to get that full effect on why you were broken in the first place so it's just like going through that situation and be able to heal from it and say it. I'm not a product of what I went through. I'm not a billboard trying to be a victim of the things I went through. I see a lot of people like on social media that does that and it's so irritating to me because I understand you're going through something. Hell, everybody is, you know, and it's just like, you know, I used to say, you know, nobody checks on me and. You know, nobody cares about what I'm going through. Yeah, because they're going through their own stuff at the same time. You know, you're blessed to be able to have people in your life that actually looks out for you and asks, hey, are you okay? You know, are you doing all right today? You know, I always reach out to people when I have that time and just asking them, you know, how is your day going? Is everything fine? Even regardless on if they're doing it for me. Now, I ain't going to keep constantly reaching out to them and they never do that for me. I'm not going to do that. But I know uh, the people that I've reached recently connected with I usually do that you know just to make sure they're okay and you know letting them know 
this when you heading towards my way obviously there's something that you need to learn when you're starting to connect with me there's something that you didn't know about yourself you had to realize um that's why it's just like it's a blessing to me be able to be able to help people find that out i mean it's just like you know that's when i know i had to go through this tragic situation because i've seen so many empaths that i've helped so many and you know there's sometimes when y'all sit up here and y'all send me you know messages because there's some of the people i do one-on-ones with and i need to go ahead and check my email in case I'm, I, I have a feeling that I, I need to go check my email for something but there's people that i know i've really helped along that way is truly a blessing you know because people are like Roz and i resonate with so many videos i'm so glad i found your channel there's people i've heard that you know they was going to commit suicide until they seen one of my videos and I mean, when you can be able to help somebody do that, I mean, you don't know, you know, that makes me step back like, wow, you know, I'm able to help like that. You know, there's sometimes you pray for a sign and poof, next, you know, I'm there talking to you, you know, and it's just like, you know, people send me towards my, that way. And I'm just like, oh gosh, you really need me to do this today. And it's like, yeah, we need you to do this today. You know, and I, I mean, it's like, I can help assist, but it's up your free, up to you on free will that you're going to, you know reciprocate the things that i'm telling you i can't force this on you and say hey look you better listen to me because this and this and this and that i will tell you but it's up to you because i mean if you want to keep going that way it's gonna get worse <laughs> you know that's, that's why i always try to tell people hey i'll send you links i'll send you different videos even if they're not my videos i will send you links to other people's videos that has helped me you know i only can tell you so much but if somebody else is saying the same thing you know i've had you know, I had to help people and they're like, Rosalind, why did this person come into my life? They hurt me. They did this and they did that. I mean, that, that had me at a point where I did not want to reach out to nobody else when I started constantly going through that. But it had to make me realize people are going to come into your life. They're either going to hurt you. You're going to learn from them and grow from them. Or they're going to abandon you because it's just like, okay, that person was only supposed to be there for that little bit just to teach you whatever it needed to teach you. And then you're supposed to go on about your business. You know, yeah, it's hurtful when people abandon you or, you know, they just popped out of your life. You, you're supposed to bless God for that because usually, you know, it could have got worse along the way. Like you didn't need this person in your life or they were there for that purpose. They served that purpose and you just wish them well. You know, you have to do that. But it's just like when you go through things, know that you will truly get over it. Um, you will get through it. You know, I know it could be like a death of a person that you care about. I'm not saying that you'll get over them because there's some some people I still there's I hold dear to me in my heart. But since I have that blessing of that medium gift, even though they have not they're not in that physical form anymore, I can still talk to them. You know, they still come down to me. I'll hear certain phrases that I know that person says and you know my my eyes might water up and say oh wow you know thank you I'll, you know or they'll send people my way to kind of favor them or something that reminds me of that person i know that they'll let me know hey i'm thinking about you too so it, it's just like when you're going through things knowing you will be the conqueror of your trauma you are not wearing that billboard around your neck saying i'm a victim you're a victor because you're going to get that victory of knowing that you're going to get through whatever you need to get through. You're going to heal. It might take some time. Yes, it will. But you also got to know when you're putting forth that effort, just not be, you know, you can cry, you can scream, whatever you need to do, but don't stay in that situation of darkness too long. That's not what you're you're supposed to do. You, you have the right to be happy. You need the right to be able to carry on. You know, if it's somebody that has passed away in your life, trust me, I know. That can be a hurtful feeling. There's days that, like I tell y'all, I sit here and cry. When I think about my mom, when I think about my sister, I think about my baby brother, I definitely think about my dad, you know, my grandparents, you know, stuff like that. But then just to know, and I have a dream or a vision about them, and then I miss them. You know, there's sometimes I ask God, you know, why aren't the people that did these put me in this situation? How come they're not paying for their crime that they did? I, I can't question that. I can't question God's situation because, you know, everything has divine timing to it. So it's just like, as long, long as I know I'm doing what I need to do and I'm healing and I'm letting, not letting anger get in the way of my healing and don't question the universe and God on why certain things happen the way they happen because trust me, especially if somebody puts you in a situation and they hurt you in a traumatic way, 
trust and believe karma at its best is gonna come knocking at some doors and it's gonna be something they're gonna know when it happens it's gonna be because of you so i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video i hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend like i said I'm just keep doing more videos i'll probably do two more videos um uh, for tonight and i'm gonna go out and exercise and go do for my nature walk because i really need to do that because i'm at eight and i'm full <laughs> and i'm just like i'm trying not to get too comfortable because you know after you eat you get that itis and i ain't trying to get that itis so uh much love to y'all have a blessed safe weekend um my post notification shot out let me see who i'm gonna give a shout out to today um enzo son much love to you um jennifer foster much love as well and ray fisher all blessings your way and sending some loving vibes healing vibes and comforting vibes to every whoever needs it know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and like and subscribe even hit that notification bell drop me a line i'll never love to hear from you as well and post like even share give me a thumbs up and i'll see you on my next video Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I'll see you later. Much love. Peace and be wild.